as an actor, you're also, you're an artist, but you're also a business, right? And a lot of actors don't really understand that they're a business, and so I'm here to tell you right now, you're a business, okay? And as a business, you need to network. Every business needs to make connections in their business in order to facilitate more business, right? And so there's two ways to go about that. There's physical networking, meaning meeting and greeting people, right? Meeting people at parties, meeting, going on general meetings, going on auditions, whatever. Meeting people and creating a network. And then there's doing it online, which is a whole other way to meet and attract people and players in the business who can actually provide opportunities to you. So here's the thing about networking, whether you're doing it online or offline, is and the reason why you want to create a network as an actor of of people who know you because people hire who they know like and trust and that's in any industry but it is absolutely true in this industry as well so if people hire who they know like and trust like for example let's say three actors came into audition and let's say we could quantify them as all being equally talented I know this is just for the sake of an example okay equally talented and they equally nailed it all three of them two of them I've never met before in my life one of them I know and I've hired before who am I going to cast? Well, if they're equal, absolutely equal, I'm going to cast who I know. Why is that? Is it because I don't want to give somebody a new opportunity? Most of the time, I'm going to cast who I know because I know when they get on the set, they're going to be professional. They're not going to run up to the star and ask for an autograph. They're not going to choke, right? So if they're all absolutely equal, I'm going to hire who, they, who I know. So most people hire who they know, like, and trust, and that's just a truth. And so why do you want to get to know people? Because the more people you know, the more people who can hire you. So you're going to network and connect with people offline, but see, a lot of actors will ignore the online thing because, um, uh, I don't know, uh, that Twitter thing. That's uh, stupid, right? And it's only stupid if you don't know how to use it. So the way to, here's a tip, right, about using social media. And I go into this more in my social media class, which is, uh, it's called Attractor Factor for Actors. And uh, it's really fun. But here's, here's how you want to think of social media. Social media, first of all, it's, it's a, a playground full of players in this industry. Because a lot of people who are really powerful and who can give you jobs are sitting there on Twitter. They're just tweeting away. And they actually will connect with you. And you have access to people on social media that you don't have access to in, in offline, right? So you're ignoring this vast landscape of people who can actually hire you as an actor. And so here's what you want to think about when you connect with them on social media. What you don't want to do, what you don't want to do, please tell this to all your friends, what you don't want to do is just go on Twitter or Facebook and post your link. Here, check out my new reel. Here, look, watch me on, you know, whatever show on NBC. Go and uh, look at my new whatever short film. If you keep posting like that over and over and over again, you're going to push people away. It's kind of like walking up to somebody at Starbucks and going, here's my picture and resume. Okay? That does not work. It doesn't serve you. What you want to think of, of social media as is a way for you to meet and connect with people as a person, not as an actor and they're a director, or you're an actor and they're a casting director, and they can, as a human being. You want to use Facebook as a way to make friends. That's why they call them friends. They don't call them business connections. <laughs> That's LinkedIn. Facebook is a place where you make friends and you talk about personal stuff. And when you get to know people in a personal way, then maybe something can come of it on a business platform at some point. So remember, I, I told you before that you have to think of yourself in the short term and in the long term, creating your big business plan. Some things are going to happen immediately, and some things are seeds you plant to have a long, beautiful career that goes on and on. Social media, it can be immediate, but, if, but most of the time, the stuff that you're going to do right now is going to be are, are going to be seeds that you plant to create relationships that can then flourish and, and grow into something else. And most of the time, the way that I see actors doing it wrong are trying to use it more immediate. Like, here, look at my link. Here, check out my thing. Here, check out my thing. You know, I mean, look, if, if you do that enough, you may eventually get, you know, that's like playing the lottery. You know, you may get one person that responds, but you've pissed off hundreds. So you don't want to do that. You want to use it as a place to grow a network of people who are going to hire you. And I go into this more in my course, and because I think a lot of actors, like I said, don't do social media because they just don't know how to do it right. It seems overwhelming. It seems like a lot of technical hoo-ha, and they don't want to deal with all that stuff. But if it were simple, and I could show you how to do it 
really step by step and get rid of all the, the drama about it and just approach it in a really fun way, then it becomes a, just a playground. And, and why not use a playground to help build your business? And that's what you are, you're a business. You know? And again, I'm not ignoring the artistic part because I know the artistic part of you. That's the fun part we get to play with in the room. But if you wanna have a big career, you also have to think of yourself as a business. Well, actually, you can go and get the information uh, on my website at amyjoberman.com. Actually, the last free webinar I did, I recorded the whole thing. There were some amazing questions from some really, really great actors, and I answered a lot of those. I recorded the whole thing, and I put it up on my site, and if you go to amyjoberman.com and put your info in there, you'll get access to that, and then you'll hear about all the other webinars and all the other free stuff that I give out to help actors. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I really like helping actors. Did I mention that? I do. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to Inside Casting on the Virtual Channel Network. This is Amy Jo Berman, and I have had a blast being here with you, and I can't wait to hear from you. So, uh, you know, I'm not shy. Hit me up. Find me on my website. You know, find me on Facebook. Find me on Twitter. I want to hear from you guys, okay? See ya.